This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a broadcast that brings you word and encouragement for your soul. We want you to remember that you don't have no worries. All you need is faith in God. Bustin' Loose in Faith airs Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Central Time. Now, without further ado, let's get into this broadcast. And may God bless you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good and worthy to be praised, all praise, all glory, all honor belongs to him this day and forevermore. Oh, Heavenly Fathers, we get out of the way that you may have your way here tonight in the name of Jesus. Let us decrease in the spirit of the Lord in us with increase. You move, precious Father, the way that you see fit. And Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Bound up all technical difficulties, anything that's trying to hinder the word of God. From going forth, and Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in the name of Jesus. We bind up all technical difficulties, anything that will try to hinder the word of God from going forth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Vance, for your prayers, honor, and requests, but most of all, the salvation to go forth that the kingdom of God may grow. In Jesus' precious and holy name, we pray. Forgive us of any sin that we so easily be set as we just shake it off, put it in the sea of forgiveness, cast it as far as the east is from the west. In Jesus' precious and holy name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. If you have your Bible in a minute, I'd like you to open up, open up to the book, to the book of uh, Hallelujah, Psalms, Psalms, the book of Psalms, Psalms 24 and 1. And the word says, the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Second Peter 1, verse Three says, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and holiness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. This is the word of God for the people of God and the Lord and the blessing to the hearers and to the doers of his holy word. Brothers, and sisters in Christ. Just for these next few minutes, I want to talk about God has given all that you need for life and godliness. God has given all that you need for life and godliness. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, through the use of the Internet, we are able to teach and preach on a local level and be able to reach on a global level. We thank God for the privilege on this Tuesday night in 2024. Talking of that name that's above every other name. For in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the praise and the glory of God here tonight. Child of God, you have everything that you need for life and godliness in 2024. You see, believe in Christ according to Philippians 1, verse 6. It says that being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Yes, child of God, you are well equipped with knowing that God has promised to complete the work he begun in you. So we must practice perseverance. Don't give up. Don't give in. Just keep going in the things of God. To per persevere means to keep at something in spite of difficulties, opposition, or discouragement. Yes, child of God, if you are making every effort 
to grow in knowledge of Christ and in godliness, then you are bearing the fruit of true faith in him. And you will never fall, regardless of if things may come your way. They may try to set you back. Be determined in 2024. No matter what, keep going. No matter what, keep believing. No matter what, keep trusting. Because God is able, willing, and ready to supply you each and every need in 2024. Yes, beloved, the power of God within you will aid you in your endeavors to grow in holiness and godliness. Yes, with the, with, with the help and investment of God, the pathway to spiritual maturity and growth, it begins and travel through the pages of the scriptures and prayer, both individually and within the community of faith. Here the Bible says in 2 Timothy 3, verse 16, that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yes, beloved, the power of Jesus on starting from day one, we must look onto him in the word of God. You see, the word of God are for our salvation and our sanctification. I'm going to say it again for those that are listening in tonight. The word of God are for our salvation and our sanctification. Again, tonight we are talking about God have given to us everything we need for life and godliness to live a life that is pleasing in God's eyesight, to live a godly life in 2024. Beloved, believers in Christ, trusting in God's provision on a daily basis should be our determination. You see, we as believers in Christ are meant to depend on God for provision, which means that we should look to him to provide for us when our means seem inadequate. We are reminded in the scriptures in Philippians 4, verse 19, it says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and in glory by Christ Jesus. Yes, beloved, our God is the ultimate provider, and his provision is just a little a little further proof of his faithfulness and grace. Child of God in twenty twenty four, our duty, our duty as be- believers in Christ, regardless of our age, should be to trust God and to obey. His commandment. We are reminded in Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. Yes, beloved, you must walk by faith and not by sight. And you must trust that God will provide what you need for your daily use, both physically and spiritually. Yes, beloved, God has given to us everything we need for life and godliness. We are reminded in the book where Jesus said in John 14, verse 15, if you love me, Keep my commandment. This is our duty and our privilege as children of God. 
Yes, believers in Christ, when you put your faith in Christ, God commissioned himself to protect, to provide, and to care for you on a daily basis. Yes, God always provides for his children, though oftentimes it is not in the way that we expect or hope. So we have to remember that God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. As high as the heaven is from the earth, God knows what is best for each and every one of his children. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we as born-again Christians, as born-again, after experiencing the born-again experience, After the rebirth, uh, spiritually, we can live according to God's revealed will, his perfect will for our lives. Yes, the God of the universe, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he has gifted each and every one of us to perform a special mission for which we alone were created to do. Yes, believer in Christ, when you seek to discover God's will for your life, please pay attention to how he has gifted you. Not everyone has the same gift or gifting. You see, God's plan for you is maybe different from somebody else. But God's plan for you will always be directly related to the gift or gifts that he has given unto you. All things that God made are available to your exposure to allow you to complete the tailor-made assignment that he has given and preordained for you to complete. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, people of God, always be mindful of this in 2024. And even though Jesus Christ would be mocked, from in time past, abused and crucified. He chose to give his life for us. Oh, what a blessing to know that Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, God gave, according to John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Because Jesus chose to give his life for us to meet our our spiritual needs from the moment onward because we had placed our faith in him. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is our bright and morning star. He is the way, the truth, and the life. After Jesus ascended on high, the promise of the Holy Spirit was given. God has blessed us with the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. The Bible says when the day of Pentecost was fully come, Jesus had commissioned the disciples to go and tarry at Jerusalem. And after Pentecost, which means 50, was fully come, they were all together in one accord, in unity, in one heart, and in one accord, in the upper room. And the Holy Spirit came in like a rushing mighty wind, filled to overflow 
filled them, each and every one of them that was a a symbol in that particular upper room. They experienced the fire of the Holy Spirit that came in like a rushing mighty wind. From that day forward, they went forth with power. When we look at John 14, verse 26, it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So, beloved, God has blessed us with everything that we need in order to have life and godliness in 2024. You see, all we have to do is to obey his command and instruction. The Bible reminds us in 1 Samuel 15, 22, the because of the verse, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. Yes, beloved God, have blessed us with all our daily provision so that we can be a blessing to other people. Yes, people of God, in all of the seasons that we go through in life, God continues to provide for our physical, spiritual, emotional, and financial needs on a daily basis. See, God also gives us the wisdom to be wise stewards of his daily provision that that have been provided for us. You see, your provision is in the vision. Your provision is in the God-given vision that he has given you in 2024. Yes, my brothers and sisters, don't. Hallelujah. Keep focus on the vision, the God vision, given vision that God has given you. Stay focused on it. Stay focused on God's goodness and grace, which will enlarge your capacity to receive God's provision. You see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, when we have Jesus Christ, we have all the provision that we need because in him we have life and have it more abundantly. Yes, believer in Christ, God has given you a prophetic vision for your future in order to help you operate in faith and true faith because faith is the currency of heaven. Bible let us know in Hebrews 11 and 1 that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. And them that come to God must believe that he is who he say he is. And he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. So we must seek him while he may be found. We must draw nigh to him as he draw nigh to us. Our heart desire and determination should be to please him in everything we say and do throughout this year in 2024. Yes, child of God, every blessing, every breakthrough you need already belongs to you in Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. But it is through faith. It is. But it is faith that brings them from the from the invisible spiritual realm to the visible material realm. 
Yes, beloved, the process that you make in life begins with your vision. You see, in order to possess God's provision, hallelujah, we must allow him to enlarge our vision so that he, because he wants us to see it on the inside of us. Yes, the Bible says, hallelujah, as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. Are you an overcomer, an overachiever in the Lord, or will you fall prey to doubt and fear? Yes, God has given us the spirit of fear. According to 1 Timothy 1 and 7, God has given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Yes, believer in Christ. Before before you can see the, see good in your life, you need to change the vision in your heart. Because according to Luke six verse forty five, the because of the verse says, "It is out. It is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaketh." So fill your thoughts with the word of God and speak faith-filled words over your life. Decree it, agree upon it, upon God's word. Decree it over your life and watch God move in your behalf. Yes, God has given to each and every one of us as his child as a believer in Christ, everything that we need for success in life, in godliness. You see, you are free to receive all things from God because of Jesus' finished work on Calvary at the cross. That's where I first seen the light. Yes, as believers in Christ, under the new covenant, we can freely receive all that God has for us, all that God wants to give to us today because of Jesus' finished work at the cross. Yes, the Bible says in Second Corinthians 5, verse 21, for he had made him to be sin for us talking about Jesus, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Yes, we are a partaker of the divine nature through the promises of God's word. Bible says in 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, for all the promises of God in him are ye, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. So believe in Christ. God's provision for today is sufficient to sustain you for all that you will experience in 2024. Always remember this. Even now, in the year of 2024 that we are living in, Everything that you have come, everything that you need has come from God. Everything that everything that you have accomplished has come from him. So people of God, how God chooses to provide for us at any time in our lives, it is according to his sovereign choice. God is no respect of person but he will accomplish according to his will. Yes, believer in Christ, we ought to give ourselves first to God, knowing that we have, we were born in sin, knowing that we are, were selfish 
and I'm concerned about me, myself, and I at one point in life. But as we draw near, have drawn near to God, and we realize that we were a sinner, we realize that we were lost, we realize that we needed help on a spiritual basis, tore up from the floor up. And God, with his mercy, his grace, and his love, he allowed Jesus Christ to be that ultimate sacrifice, to cover, hallelujah, and satisfy the penalty for the sin of all mankind. Yes, it was because of Jesus that we are, that we are, that we are able to reconnect with God the Father. It's because of Jesus who was the trailblazer to the beginning of Christianity because of Jesus shedding his blood on Calvary's hill on the cross for you and I and all, all those that, that are still lost praying and believing that in time they'll come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we as a strong brothers and sisters in Christ must bear the infirmity of the weak. We must be determined, hallelujah, that if God be for us, who or what can be against us? The Bible says one plant, one water, but God bring the increase. So we must be about our Father's business. We must work while it is day, for night cometh when no man or woman can work. So, beloved, trust God with all your daily needs as we do the works that he has given us to do. Put him first in your life. According to Matthew 6, verse 33, it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and everything else shall be added. When we put God first and foremost and have a mindset uh, to do spiritual things at the fourth, hallelujah, to accomplish physical, uh, spiritual things, putting, putting our own agenda to the side and taking up God's agenda to, for the saving of souls that the kingdom of God may grow. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, remember in 2024, everything that we need, everything that we need, God have equipped us because it all comes from him. Yes, people of God, how God chooses to provide for us at any time in our lives is according to his sovereign choice. Yes, believe in Christ. We ought to give ourselves first to God and to trust him with all our daily needs as we do the work that he has given us to do. Child of God, again, most of the time, God's provision is going to come through people and not miraculously appear from the sky. Yes, beloved, God is the one who determines how that he will provide for his own. We must learn to trust in whatever manner God chooses. Also, we all, we must be aware that the God of the universe, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, does not do the same thing for everyone. So receive God's provision, which is always more than enough to, to, to become a blessing to someone else. You see, God's provision is meant to be shared. God has given to us everything that we need for our lives and for us to live. 
a godly, a godly life. Yes, child of God, always be mindful to not forget where your blessing comes from. Yes, beloved, in order to experience God's provision, we must we must remove any hindrance and the and the, and roadblocks that that will try to hinder us in any way. And we must look beyond the gifts that God has given us. We must look to the giver, to God, the Father, Jesus, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we must depend on God for our provision on a daily basis. Yes, the God that we serve, he's awesome. He, he's, he's more. He's more than enough. He is our all in all. Jesus Christ, who is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Again, tonight we are talking about God has given us all that we need for life and for godliness in 2024. But nothing turned out right Then the master, he took my hand Now he's leading me to the promised land Oh yeah, Jesus loved me Oh yes, my Jesus, he loved me Oh. 
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised. We are so grateful and thankful for everything that he has done, is doing, and will do. We just want to thank God for, for those that are listening and those that will be listening at a, later, at a later date. We just thank God for you. We thank God for you for you praying for us on a, on a, on a daily basis as we bring forth these radio broad, broadcasts through the use of the Internet where we are able to teach and preach on a local level and be able to reach on a global level. We just want to touch and agree with you. Hallelujah, based on the word of God that said, many two of us come in agreement. As touching anything here on earth, it'll be done of our heavenly Father, which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Thank, thank the Lord for his goodness, his grace, and his love. We thank him because in 2020, folks, we, we, we believe that God wants more from us. He wants us to do more. He wants us to reach out more. Amen. So we, we, so we are thankful and grateful, first of all, to be on top of the ground, ground not on top of us. So if you're alive and well and doing fine, amen, amen, and whatever state or state you may find yourself in, and you're still alive, that's a blessing in itself, amen. So we, must, we, we, we touch and agree that whatever you are believing God for, amen, hallelujah, just stretch out in faith and believe him, hallelujah, according to his word. And if you're praying according with his will for your life, where you are in faith at this moment, we ask and we just touch and agree with you that if it's in line with God's will for your life now, or whether it's family, or, or family, friends, or whatever, or hallelujah, we just, we just want you to know that we're praying with you and we believe in God with you and by faith that it's already done. So it's just a matter of perseverance. It's just a matter of stand, standing in the gap and believing. Keep trusting. Keep believing. God is able. Oh, yes, he is. Hallelujah. So we just thank God for, for you. Thank God for all those that, that have been uh, letting people know about the different, uh, hallelujah, the, the different time zones and uh, the time that we are broadcasting these radio broadcasts at 5 p.m. Central Central Standard Time. Amen. Amen. So again, so again we were uh, talking about God has given all of us as born again believers in Christ. He have He have given us all that we need in order to live a victorious life and to live a God in a godly way. My brothers and sisters in Christ. Psalms 34, 37, verse 4 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thine heart. Trust in God's provision on a daily basis. You see, God has made, have made available all that we need for life and to live a godly way of life. Our lifestyle must line up with what we're saying. Yes, we are. We are meant to depend on God for his provision. For we can only go so far in life, and we are limited to our provision. But when it comes to God's provision, it's unlimited. Yes, we should look to him to provide for us when our own means seem inadequate or not enough. You see, provision means the activity of supplying or providing something. Hallelujah. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we must all remember that our God needs a slumber not sleep. He's able, willing, and ready to meet all each and every need. We are reminded also again that in Psalms 24, verse 1, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell it therein. Yes, we must be confident of knowing that of knowing that God, which have begun a good work in us, will perform it until the day 
of Jesus Christ. Even our, our own unfaithfulness, God is still faithful. He's faithful to himself, and he's faithful to his word. The Bible says that heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word shall never pass away. So we are thankful and grateful for that. Hallelujah. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, are you willing to trust in God's provision in 2024 to live according to what he asks us to do on a daily basis? Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, all things that God have made available to us, all things, Yes, when we look around and we see how blessed we are, we see how blessed we are according to the word of God. We have to always give God thanks and praise because of his daily provision that he has given us. Yes, the provision that, that he has given us, the ability that he has given us in order to obtain possessions, in order to obtain salvation and everything else in life. We must take the time each and every day to thank God because he's the one that spared us. He's the one that allowed us to see a brand new day. We must look on to the hill from which coming our help, our help coming from the Lord, the one that sits high and look low, the one that knows us all by name, the very hairs on our head. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we serve an awesome God. We serve a God that knows us better than we know ourselves. We serve a God that helps till a maid made a divine assignment for each and every one of our lives. So we must be partakers of the divine nature. The divine nature of God, hallelujah, that have been placed within us after our born again experience and with Christ. See, 1 Corinthians 5, 17 reminds us that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yes, child of God, we 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 have spiritually have had a, a rebirth. Spiritually, oh, the Spirit of the Lord came to dwell inside of us. Yes, we're not our own anymore. We've been bought with a price. God have crowned our head with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. When we go through a test, the Bible says, count it all joy when you fall in a diver's hallelujah in various trials. We must not shy away from it. We must go through the process in order to become an overcomer, in order to be able to testify and let people know that God did it. We must stand the test. We must endure it all the way to the end so that we may have a testimony to testify and tell people how good God is. He promised in his word to never leave us nor forsake us. Jesus Christ is saying yesterday, today and forevermore. Yes, beloved, the God of the universe, we must be, we must, our mind must be made up, our heart must be fixed, that the world is behind us and the cross is before us. And we are determined in 2024 to do more for the Lord and for his work, to, to go beyond the comfort of a full bit wall of, of, of our homes, 
I will go beyond the church walls of an assembly into the byways and the highways and let people know that the God that we serve, he's still alive and well. And the God that we serve, he's reaching out. There's a better life. Hallelujah. But we must be bold enough to witness and tell others about Jesus, to let them know that they can depend on him. They can depend on Jesus because in him, through him, all, all is, we'll find the fullness of life. It's a choice that we must make on a daily basis, a choice that has consequences. Yes, God provision he, that he gives us on a daily basis as a follower of Christ. It is not only for us, but it is for others. Pray that God will bless you to become a blessing to others in 2024. That God would use you as a conduit to work the work that he that He has given us to do. We must continue to, to build up the faith in God. We must continue to go forward without looking back, looking on to Jesus as the author and finisher of our faith. And the gift that God has blessed us with, we must use it for his glory, not getting high-minded or big-headed. No, walking in humility each and every day with a spirit of meekness, Depending on God to meet us where we are, to draw nigh to Him as He draws nigh to us each and every day of our lives. We are reminded in the book of Second Chronicles seven fourteen that says, "If my people, which is called in my name, would just humble themselves." Seek my face, pray, turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal the land. And indeed, this land that we are living in, in this United States of America, needs a healing in every area of our lives. We thank God tonight that we serve a God that sits high but look low that we serve a God that neither slumber nor sleep, that we serve a God that knows all by name the very hairs on our head. Oh, yes, we are thankful and grateful for all the provisions that God has given us and will give us in 2024. So as we pray in one heart, one mind, and one accord, Indeed, we can say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Look at Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. For thou art with me, thou right in thy staff. They comfort me. Thou art known as my head with all, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Psalms 1, verse 1, 2, and 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, 
nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law do he meditate day and night. He'd be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, that in his season will bring forth his fruit, and his leaves shall not wither. That whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Think of that John 14, verse 1, 2, and 3 says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God? Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, you may be also from this day forward in that name that's above every other name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the praise and the glory of God our Father. Remember, again, what Second Peter 1, verse 3 said, According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and to virtue, Yes, child of God, you are well equipped with knowing that God has promised to complete the work he begun in you. So in 2024, keep moving. Keep practicing perseverance. Keep going in the things of God. Don't be, don't be distracted to become to, to become a spectator on the sideline when it comes to the, to God and God's work in his kingdom. Be a, spec, be a participator. Do all that you can do for the glory of God. Be God's mouthpiece, his hands and feet. Go forth with boldness of letting people know for God I, for God I live and for God I'll die. Be a blow the trumpet of thine and let people know that there is a better way to live your life. Looking on to Jesus as the author and finisher of our faith in 2024. Jesus Christ, he, he's the one that went to Calvary. He's the one that shed his blood for you and me. Jesus Christ, He's the one that had placed a crown of thorns on his head and sweat and blood came trembling down his brow. Jesus Christ, he's the one that, that went to Calvary's cross and shed his blood for you and me. Yeah, hallelujah. So we give him praise, we give him honor, and we give him thanks here tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, Apostle. Thank you so much for that teaching tonight. We hope that you glean some information that you can apply to your life. And if so, become a doer of the word and not just a hearer. And as a doer, pass, pass on the information you've learned. We also appreciate your support. It's good to see some old-time friends back online with us. We greatly appreciate your support. Share the number, 347-826-9424, with your family and friends and have them join you as you join us every Tuesday and Friday evening at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Again, that's 347-826-9424, Tuesday and Friday evenings at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'd love to have you listen in. Should you have questions or comments, topics you'd like to hear discussed, We'd love to have you write to us at 8544-BELFORT, B as in boy, E-L-L-F-O-R-T, Avenue, number 715, Houston, Texas, 77071. Again, that's 8544-WEST, 
Belfort, B as in boy, E-L-L-F-O-R-T, Avenue, number 715, Houston, Texas, 77071. Again, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Know that God loves you, and so do we. And Lord willing, we'll be back with you again on Friday evening at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless.